Hi Leo and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be your weekly sun sign prediction starting March the 21st, 2022. Um, and look Leo, we're in fire season now. It's not your season, it's Aries season, but it is in your element. So we're actually starting the very first uh, week of the zodiac year. So a lot of people think, you know, January 1st, that's the beginning of the new year. Well, if you're a woo-woo like me and you're interested in astrology and you follow the stars and you read tarot, the new year is Monday. Okay, so uh, cardinal energy, it's fire on fire. Um, it's Aries season. So Aries um, indicates the uh, first season of the year in the southern, hem in the sorry, in the northern hemisphere, um, and that's spring. So it's all about taking action this week. You know, there's lots of firepower running around. So guys, I hope you really enjoy the reading. Um, and without further ado, let's just get started, Leo, and see what comes up for you this week. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What do my beautiful Leos need to know for Aries season starting this week? Thank you so much, Spirit. What is Leo need to know for the week ahead. Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Leo need to know for the week ahead? Okay, you've got the Knight of Swords, you've got the Moon, and you've got the Magician. Nice. Bottom of the deck, this is beautiful, you've got the Three of Cups. And clarifying the Three of Cups. Let's start again. Clarifying the Three of Cups, you have the Temperance card, okay? Sagittarian energy. All right. Here we go. So, Leo, you've got the Knight of Swords, the Moon, the Magician, Three of Cups, and Temperance card. Okay, so what do we got here? The Knight of Swords is kicking off your week here, and this is about uh, air Gemini energy, okay? Some people see this card as someone who's trying to be a little bit argumentative, but I'm sort of getting this impression here that you're going to be very quick on your feet this week, Leo. You're not really going to be um, hanging around waiting for answers. You're not really hanging around waiting for people to come to the party. You're actually going to be seizing the day, and in a way, I'm getting this very strong energy that you're kind of at your wit's end. It's kind of like you're mental um, capacity just to deal with people who give you excuses you're not prepared to listen to excuses you're prepared to actually deal with things as they happen when they happen not oh, i'll get back to you later or whatever um, so this week i feel like you're embodying this energy here and usually i read this card as someone coming in challenging you could be a, an actual gemini or someone here that's pressing your buttons and being a little bit argumentative but I don't really see that here for you this week, Leo. I feel like you're just basically embodying this energy here of being, um, you know, embodying that Gemini energy and going, you know, why doesn't everyone just get on with things? You know, why can't everyone just start that job or get, you know, get results? You know, <laughs> you want results, not excuses. Okay. That's pretty much what I'm going to call the video, I think, this week as well. The center of your reading, you've got the moon card. This is beautiful. This is all about using your intuition and actually being guided um, this week by the moon, by Piscean energy. We've just finished Pisces season and we're coming to the end of that. But this can also indicate basically something that's been hidden from you and something that is now going to be revealed, okay? But you must use your intuition this week. It's at the center of your reading. Hey, my little cat is over here in my plant. Excuse me. Get out of there. Get out. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, listen to your intuition and follow the moon. You know, the moon is here to guide you and the moon is here to spiritually um, assess um, all the things that you've been probably even doubting about yourself. You know, there's, there's stuff that's hidden within the moon can give you a sense of anxiety. Hang on, I have to get rid of my cat. Okay. No. Sorry, guys. Well, this always happens. When I do a Leo reading, my cats just go crazy. Go figure. Um, now, what was I saying? So, yeah, the moon can give you a sense of anxiety, especially if they're things that you feel, um, you know, suspicious about as well. You might be sort of second-guessing something or a situation and you're sort of, um, it is giving you that sense of anxiety. It's like, you know, God, I don't want this to go wrong or, 
you know, that sort of thing. But look, just follow your intuition this week. It's not going to let you down. Um, and, you know, we are starting a new season here, so it's time to start something new. Um, new beginnings, new seasons. It's a really nice way to sort of square off the, the romanticism of Pisces season, the romanticism of water energy, the romanticism of, of that sort of stuff, the wishy-washy, the illusion, the delusion, all that sort of thing, which may have been happening over the last three months for you. At the end of the week, you're going to be manifesting uh, your next big thing, okay? This is the Magician card. This is Virgo and Gemini energy. You've got the Gemini energy top and tail of your reading as well. So I feel like this week you're really going to be using your noggin and you're actually going to be, um, you know, putting all the tools that you have in front of you to use. You're not going to be sitting around just waiting for things to happen. As I said at the beginning of the reading, you're going to be really taking action on things and turning your dreams into a reality, okay? That's what the magician does. He's the initiate. He's masculine energy and, um, you know, highly, uh, highly intuitive, but also, you know, he can be a bit of a trickster as well. Um, but I feel like you're just basically making the most of everything you've got in front of you right now, Leo, which is really important. The overarching energy for the reading is the Three of Cups. This is beautiful. This is divine feminine energy. And it's also about uh, celebration. Okay, this is something to celebrate here. This is beautiful. You could also cel be celebrating uh, an engagement or um, basically your friends, your divine uh, feminine friends who are there to raise you up, support you, and the women in your life are there for you 100%. You could also be, uh, this is clarified by uh, the Temperance card, um, which is Sagittarian energy. And Temperance card is almost like a healing. It's like having to, you know, you've been through the wars and you've actually come out of this now, um, which is really beautiful. You could have also been going through a little bit of um, sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Um, and now is a time for you to actually restore that balance with spiritual alchemy, overcome addiction, overcome uh, things that were really uh, unbalanced. And, you know, you really had to pay the price for um, because this is coming after the devil card. This is a beautiful energy. It's angelic and it's also, um, you know, a healing. There's a healing taking place here, which is really beautiful. So, you know, you're you're very feisty either end of the week here. This is sort of this energy of like, right, I'm just not taking any more shit from anybody. I'm actually just going to go for it. But at the same time, there's that sort of brooding kind of energy on the inside of you that's sort of feeling a little bit anxious about it. But the overarching energy for the rest of the week is that magician energy, which is super powerful. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed the reading and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified of when I upload next. I do weekly sun sign predictions. And if you'd like a personal reading, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. And if you'd like to learn tarot, um, you can learn with me. I'm doing a six-week beginner course. So if you have no clue about tarot whatsoever, that's all right. I can teach you and, and take you one step at a time. One hour a week is all it takes and I can... Um, give you course material, video sessions that we record together. Everything's provided and it's really affordable. It's $50 a class, which is $300 Australian for the whole course, which is really cheap. Um, and also, you know, you're going to get, um, you know, experience from someone like me who's been reading tarot for, you know, a couple of decades. And, um, you know, this is sort of my lifeblood. So I'm going to teach you to read like a pro. If you're interested in that, again, check out my website below, New Angel Tarot under services. And if you want to book uh, some readings, um, you can do that as well. So until next time, Leo, have a great week. Good luck with everything. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.